Hope it's nearly 100 degrees in the shade. Are you really going to tell them to think about cold weather? Yep. If you don't know us, I'm Hope. And I'm Larry. And this is Under the Median, where every week we talk about practical frugality. Now, as Larry so kindly just pointed out a second ago, it is right now 100 degrees in the shade in the Midwest in central Illinois. So why in the world are we telling you now is the time to think ahead and to prep for cold weather because cold weather comes a whole lot sooner than you think that it will. Now, the other caveat before we get started is the fact that some of these preps that we'll tell you to make right now, we tell you from hard experience because we have made some mistakes have been made. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you about those as we go along. One of the first things that occurs in stores is a summer clearance sale. And that is usually going on at about this time of the year. As soon as students go back to school, they want all of those summer items off the shelves, out of the store. They deeply discount them. And all of a sudden, all the fall and winter merchandise comes in and that takes that space on the shelf. You're also going to find some other items just besides regular school supplies like pens, pencil, and notebook paper. There's going to be items like computers, laptops, scientific calculators. And how often did your kids come home from school right after that first week and all of a sudden they need a $100 <laughs> scientific calculator? And we're not talking about the Texas Instrument SR50 that you've got no. stashed no. away in your drawer from 1975, okay? <laughs> we're not talking about that calculator. Of course, you're also going to find end of the season prices on all summer apparel, but there's also another area of merchandise you might not have thought about. Look in the garden section mm -hmm. of the various stores, and they might have some of this stuff sitting outside yeah. on their parking lot with little yellow signs on them, but they'll put a lot of the patio furniture, charcoal grills, lawn mowers, anything that has to do with gardening or lawn maintenance will go on sale this time of the year and you can get some of these items for 40 50 percent off all right to help you out i created a graphic this is an idea of some of the things you're going to find on clearance right now outdoor apparel school supplies art supplies laptops calculators lawnmowers gardening products beach towels bug spray and sunscreen beach toys outdoor toys bubbles plastic outdoor tablecloths and fans oh my one of the things that we like to think about when you see these deep discounts, a couple of things. Buy items for gifts, set them aside for later in the year, and think about how you can repurpose these items for special occasions you may have coming up. For instance, bubbles. Bubbles are great for wedding celebrations. So we're going to be buying bubbles and setting those aside for our spring wedding coming up. Uh, not our wedding. We're, no. we're married. We're talking about our son's wedding. <laughs> just to be clear. Yeah. All right. Now, if you want the inside scoop on exactly what you want to be looking for each month out of the year, I put everything into an ebook where I walk you through every single month of the year and tell you exactly what you should be looking for that is on deep discount. There is an ebook for buying seasonal produce at discounted prices, buying gifts, and also buying clothing, a set of three, three, three ebooks. Those ebooks right now are a free bonus and it goes along with our frugal finance planner. I'll make sure there's a link to it in the description of the video, guys. Another thing you can look at is get into your stores of your own cold weather clothing. Do your mm -hmm. jackets fit? Do you have mittens? Do you have hats? Do you have long underwear? Do you have the things that you're going to need for you and your family? Additionally, you want to check the zippers. We speak from experience oh, once yeah, again. Oh, Remember, yeah. we raised four kids, and by the time those hand-me-downs got to that fourth child, sometimes it was ripped, it was frayed, the zipper didn't work right, the hood was missing. Make mm. sure you're checking all of those things as well as you're going through those uh, buckets or baskets or bins. drawers or bins, bins yeah. of cold weather items. You got to have sweaters for cold weather. But here's something else we want to say about sweaters. Before you turn on that furnace, this is the magic time of the year when the, the AC is off, the furnace is off, and you're opening the windows at night because the cool air is starting to come in. Now I'm talking about two weeks from now. Yes, really right now as we're recording this, it is 100 degrees in the shade. So <laughs> once it cools off a little bit, that's when you're going to be experiencing those open windows at night. Extend that time period as long as you possibly can. Usually we have a date 
on the calendar that we want to get to before we turn on the furnace. November 30th? No. Oh, heavens no. We want to know from you though. <laughs> Tell us in the comment section, do you have a specific date in mind for what you want to get to before you turn the furnace on? We always aim for November 1st, not November 30th. No, <laughs> November 1st before we turn on the central heating. We want to know from you, are you like us and do you have like a goal date in mind for us? Anytime it's a goal, that like, it's like game on for us. It's a goal. It's written down the calendar. We want to get to the goal. Speaking of your furnace, and I know it's really hard to think about your furnace mm -hmm. when you're just so glad to have your air conditioning running almost full tilt. Make sure that it's working properly. And I would suggest if you don't know how to do this yourself, mm -hmm. have a professional come over and take a look at it. Uh, make mm -hmm. sure you've got clean filters on mm -hmm. your furnace. That's true with air conditioning as well. But uh, just have somebody check it out so that when that very first cold snap comes, you know that you're gonna have heat for your house. Tip number five, and people tend to forget this one. We did for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And that's max out your yearly end tax deductible contributions. One of the things that really helped us to put that part of the equation together was working with John Creekmer and the team at Creekmer Wealth Advisors. They are our partner for this video. One of the first things John did when we walked in his office door years ago was to help us to figure out how we could maximize the money that we were saving every single month. He wrote out a plan for us that helped us to, yes, I'm going to say it, prioritize all of those opportunities, many of which we were completely and utterly unaware of. In short, he made our savings make sense for us. Now, if you have questions about retirement, budgeting, savings, or investments, John would love to field those questions for you. He or a member of his team would get right back to you and answer those questions. You need to live in the United States for John to be able to work with you. There's a link for Creekmore Wealth Advisors, guys. It's all the way at the top of the description of this video. Thanks, Creekmore Wealth, for partnering with us on this video. Another area of consideration that's really easy to overlook this time of year is our health insurance. For instance, we get one general health checkup per year with blood tests that's covered under our plan. We also get two teeth cleanings and we have to do one in order to have the benefits take effect. Here's a couple of other really quick health considerations, FSAs. FSAs are a method of saving money back to be able to use for health uh, related items and expenses throughout the calendar year. But FSAs do not extend beyond one calendar year. So if you have one of those, you need to know exactly how much is left in that account and you need to use it up before the end of the calendar year. Now we have HSAs. That's what we have, health savings account. HSAs have limitations on how much you can put in every single year, but they roll over until the following calendar year and they sit there until you need them to pay for any health related expenses. So know exactly what kind of account you have and know the parameters on those accounts. We had to find out about this one the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> that is, check around the foundation of your house for holes that pests like rodents, we're talking about groundhogs, chipmunks, might be making in some inroads in and around your foundation. We discovered a big series of holes around a burrowing nest of a groundhog that we had living in our front bushes area. The larger main hole was probably eight inches in diameter. Or at least. It was underneath one of our bushes. Hidden, couldn't see it. It was, it's, it's been an experience. We thought that we had it rehomed somewhere besides our front yard and it came back, came back. two weeks later. Yeah. Uh, we understand if you guys know, tell us, please tell us. If you have gotten a groundhog to move from the premises of your property, we want to know what you did because we are trying pretty much every trick in the book right now to get the groundhog away from the foundation of our house. Frankly, if he wasn't living a right, and I mean right next to our house foundation, we wouldn't care so much. Wouldn't, but, wouldn't mind if he's out on the edge of the property. Yes, he but, is. We kind of care that he's living where he is living. We'll put a picture of it up on oh, the screen. Oh, they're cute. I've got pictures they of them. They are not that cute. They are 18 to 24 inches oh, long, folks. These things are huge. Things. They are scary. They look like they have big teeth. <laughs> 
think that might hurt you if you got too near them. No, they. I don't care what he says. These things are not, by definition, cute. Here's here's what's not cute. All those holes around our house can cause water from heavy rains to come cascading into the basement. So that's why we have to deal with this. You know what we're thinking about doing next? We are thinking about putting chicken wire over that whole area by that side of our house and putting cement blocks on top of the chicken wire to weight the chicken wire down. This is after we fill their holes so that they physically will not be able to burrow in that area. We have no idea whether that actually would work or not, but that's kind of, we, we have like a hierarchy of there, ways. There's all kinds of we're ways. trying to get rid of the groundhog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, and we love animals. We're not, we don't hate animals, but we don't want them destroying our house. Another tip, and this can be easily forgotten, and one year we did to our detriment, and that is make sure before a hard freeze that you have all of your outdoor water spigots shut off. Now, you might have a shut off inside of your house. Make sure that that line is drained so you're not going to get freezing in the pipe, causing a pipe to burst. Moving on to happier topics, here's the next hack, and I promise you this is a happier hack, all right? Uh, that is, you need to make sure right now, right now folks, that you have all of your Christmas wish lists from your kids and your spouse and your extended family, anybody that you're buying for, for Christmas that you feel like I really need a wish list from them, now is the time to get it. One of the things that we do, and this is kind of a hack, our kids have Amazon accounts. We have them make on Amazon a Christmas wish list. And then when you make a wish list on Amazon, you can make it shareable and they share that link with us and we're able to go right to their wish list. And each one of those items on their list is hyperlinked thank you, Amazon, to that item on Amazon so we can go on and we can buy it directly off of that wish list. And if you get the list before Black Friday, you can take advantage of those sales on the items that they have on their Christmas wish list. Here's something that is also, to me, a newly discovered fact. Amazon is planning to do another Prime Day in October. This is a, like a sub, we're giving lots of sub hacks in this hack. Here's another <laughs> sub hack. If you don't currently have Amazon Prime, you can get Amazon Prime once a calendar year, once every 12 months, you can get it free for 30 days to try it. And then if you don't wanna pay for it, you just unsubscribe to it within that 30 day time period and you never charge for it. October, I think I, I looked it up. October, it just says in October. I think it was maybe around the 20th of October. Don't don't quote me on that though. In October, Amazon is planning to do another Prime Day event. Uh, we got a, a Prime 30-day free membership during their last Prime Days and we scored some really great deals for gifts for the kids for the upcoming holidays. So I just wanna make you aware of that. Uh, if you need a link to Amazon Prime, we'll put a link guys uh, we'll put a section in the description of this video that says mentioned in the video and we'll put a link right underneath that for Amazon Prime. It's going to be an affiliate link, just so you know. Now is a good time of year to check your cold winter supplies. And mm -hmm. here I'm talking about things yep. like your shovels, snowblower, anything that you need for your car, snow brushes, blankets, anything that you heat with. Let's say yep. you heat with kerosene heat a little bit, like we do, we supplement with kerosene heat. I wanna make sure I go out while it's warm and fill those kerosene cans, rather yep. than going out at 15 below zero and trying to fill them. So the whole idea here is just get ready for those cold temperatures by checking your supplies and making sure that you're ready. Extra blankets too. We're talking about cold weather supplies. Make sure that you get all of your extra blankets out. We like to get it out this time of the year and we just lay it decoratively. At least I say it's decoratively. I don't think the kids think it's decoratively, but I call it decoratively <laughs> across the end of their bed so that when a cold night strikes, they can just pull it up from the bottom of their bed uh, instead of trying to rummage through the hall closet at say, I don't know, midnight, one o'clock, 
looking for an extra blanket because that may or may not have happened to us and it may or may not have woken up mom and dad while you are in the hall looking for an extra blanket. So now I am a proactive, preemptive mom and I lay it decoratively, yes, I say decoratively across the end of their bed. You try it too, it'll work. <laughs> Anything's better than those decorative real feathered pillows where the feathers come out of the pillows and stick you in the back? Uh, my feather pillows are perfectly fine. He just has like a personal problem <laughs> with my feather pillows. I'm just going to say it. Another thing that you might consider too is if you do a lot of traveling in the winter, let's say that you have to commute maybe 15, 30 miles to your job, mm -hmm. make sure that yeah. you have a car kit. So in case you get stranded mm -hmm. on the road, your car's over on the side of the road, it won't start or you're in heavy traffic. You have some means to get by. You have extra yeah. blankets, maybe a, a candy bar, some food in the car, yeah. some water, a flashlight is always good to have, mm -hmm. an emergency kit, a first aid kit. Think about all the things that you might need if you're stranded out on the road. And I know, once again, it's hard to think about these things mm -hmm. when it's nearly 100 degrees out, but it's always good to plan ahead and be prepared. That's a fun Christmas gift idea, by the way. Put together emergency car kits for each one of your grown kids to put in their cars. Mm. I think it's really fun. I think it's a fun idea. It is a good idea. Kids, if you're watching this video, erase that from your mind. You we're not talking not, about you. Yeah, we're not talking about we did not, you. Not talking you did about not you. just hear us yeah, not, say that. We're not talking about our own kid. Now it's clear if you haven't noticed that winter brings with it a whole array of changes and different things that you need to be concerned about when you compare it to summer. One of the things that we're always concerned about, particularly in the Midwest, because it gets really cold here, is winter power outages. We did an entire video where we gave you ideas of things you might want to have on hand in case all of a sudden the power goes out and it's the middle of winter. To watch that video, click right over there and you'll get some really great ideas. Outdoor. <laughs> Are you ready? Stop. All right, just get it all out. Just get it all out. Oh my gosh.